Greetings, true believers. Drill pal, Spider-Man. Hey guys, here. Uh, KJ here. From the lake. Um, we got here last night, about five or six o'clock. Um, got unpacked, made some dinner, and today is when the fun starts. Um, let me uh, focus in down there. So, right down here, you can see the, uh, the dock. Kind of see the dock. We got a uh, pontoon boat and three jet skis. Um, so we're gonna have some fun today. Um, today I'm gonna do my uh, outdoorsy naturey shave. Um, so even though I don't have to, I'm gonna simulate what it would be like if I was sh shaving, uh, like on a backpacking trip or something. Um, so all of my stuff is right here. It's all I need for my shave. And then I'm gonna simulate having a bottle of water with me. Um, so I'm gonna do everything pretty much start to finish so you can see what I would uh, do for my shave. So uh, what I've got, a little teeny uh, travel bottle of aftershave. I like reusing these little containers. Uh, Germax containers are perfect. Uh, you can fit, I mean, this is easily two weeks worth of aftershave in here. Uh, unless you glug it like uh, Dawn then maybe a couple days, maybe. Um, anyways, this is a, just a little concoction I have of uh, Brute, Skin Bracer, uh, Master, Jade, and a little bit of Osage Rub. Um, got a little container of Witch Hazel. Again, little teeny reused container. This was a uh, uh, shampoo condition, or a shampoo bottle from a hotel. So uh, if you ever travel and you get these little containers, uh, reuse them for anything. Um, my little travel brush, which is a brush that I won in a PIF a few years back. Um, it's a handmade, uh, hand carved out of, uh, tor I don't know, I forget the name of it, but some sort of nut that they used to, uh, to carve this out of, and then they just put in a, a small knot, and this works perfectly. For, uh, for travel, it's nice and small. And then my razor set up. Um, basically this is the same size as an Altoids tin, <clears throat> kind of a novelty gumball uh, container. Uh, but you can see inside, I've got a uh, one of those little gel packs so that any moisture that's left in here, it'll uh, help dry it out. And then I've just got a uh, tech, there we go. Just got a tech in there. A uh, pack of blades. I put a little piece of foam in the top and the bottom to keep it from rattling around. I got some extra, you can see some extra persona blades in, uh, behind that. But I got a pack of Oscods in there. Um, so you just pull out your handle, just stick it right in the head, screw it in, and you're good to go. That's all you gotta do. So super easy for traveling. Um, I should have done this initially. Now, this is uh, my travel bowl, um, lather bowl. Uh, you might recognize the shape of it. This is just a regular old uh, cheap plastic uh, salsa bowl from like the dollar store. I think you buy them from Dollar Tree for like two for a buck. Um, so initially what I'm gonna do is I would just pour some water into my lather bowl and uh, get my brush going in there and I just realized uh, I left my soap inside so I'm gonna pause you for a minute and I'm gonna go grab the soap and I'm back okay so uh, today I'm gonna be using my sample of uh, first Canadian Grand Valley vetiver um, I'm a fan of vetivers and this smells like a really good vetiver uh, I think I said in my other video it smells very similar to the uh, to the vetiver that I have from St. Charles Shave, which is just called, uh, I think it's called Very V. Um, it almost sounds like there's a little bit of something going on in the background. Maybe a little bit of lavender or something. But honestly, I didn't look up the notes to see what else might be in there. Um, but really, a, a very good vetiver. So, um, 
my brush has been soaking for a little teeny bit, so I'm just gonna pull it out, um, but I'm gonna leave it damp um, so it can continue to, to soak in some water. Um, but I'm gonna take my bowl, and initially I want it to be a little bit dry so that I can scoop out the soap. And this is gonna be a little bit harder of the soap. But I'm gonna take the, the soap and I'm gonna smoosh it into the bottom of my bowl. I'm gonna spread it out as much as I can around, along the bottom just so that it gets the uh, surface area that I'm looking for, which is about the, the size of a puck, uh, just to make the loading easier. So there we go, soap's in the bottom of the bowl. Just gonna rinse off my finger. Um, all right, so now I'm gonna take my brush and just shake it out, get all the excess water out of it, and then I'm gonna start loading. Love all the sounds out here. <clears throat> the naturey sounds. You know what I mean, Chad, right? All the crickets and cicadas and frogs. Um, so we got some stuff going on there. I'm just gonna dip my brush into the water a little bit. So I, I love these bowls. It's it's just the right size, um, and it's fairly indestructible. I mean, you can drop this from any height you want on any surface you want, and I doubt it's going to break or crack. It's so light, it's not going to hit with any force. I think the only way you're going to break it is if you drive over it with a car or something. Um, and they come in tons of different colors, too. I'm partial to green, my favorite color, and I'm surrounded by green. Okay, so... We're gonna go with this. And so, if I was out camping or something, I'd have like a water bottle. So I would just take and just pour in a little bit of water. Son's already out on the dock doing some fishing. He loves fishing. So he got up right after sunrise so he could get down there and start fishing right away. Uh, yesterday he caught a really teeny tiny bluegill, which he used for bait, and ended up catching a drum off of that. And then uh, later on he caught a uh, eh, pound, pound and a half catfish, little guy. I do like the scent of the soap. It's really good. Performance wise so far, the latherability and everything, it's pretty average tier two soap. I do, uh, I like to rinse my razor in hot water. Uh, not gonna happen right now, so it's, it's a little dip in the cold water and get to the shave. So if I was all done, uh, with my lathering, and I was only using a water bottle. At this point, I would probably just um, 
pour some of the water into my lather bowl and then use that as the uh, rinsing bowl for my razor. Um, but since I'm using a cup, I'm just gonna use that. So already I feel that it's drying out on my face. So yeah, I'm just gonna put my razor in there and it's a little messy. I can't rinse this off as good as I'd like to, but it'll work. And if you need to in a pinch, just use your towel. So lap this back up. Really looking forward to getting out on the jet skis. That's my favorite thing to do out here, other than just relaxing. I just love the atmosphere out here. Calmness and quiet. He's, it's, this is uh, <clears throat> Lake of the Ozarks, um, but it's on one of the outer uh, spiral arms of it, so it's, it's super, super quiet. There's hardly any boat traffic. You can hear boat traffic like off in the distance, it's on the main channel, but we're off the main channel, so it's so quiet out here. Um, I just love this location. Uh, anyways, uh, this cabin belongs to my coworker, uh, and he lets me use it um, whenever I want. Uh, as long as he's not using it, he just, he wants people to enjoy it, and, uh, if the cabin is empty for a weekend, he'd rather see somebody in using it. Um, so, I would like to bring my family down here once or twice a year. noises. Uh, so anyways, he, uh, he had three jet skis when I was here before, but two of them were smaller. And he got rid of those, and he got two more. That are bigger. One of them has a speedometer on it, and he said he's had it up to 60 miles an hour. So, I haven't been on one that's that fast yet. All right, <clears throat> so that's what I'm getting for today. I'm not gonna really attempt a uh, touch up pass. And my face has kind of been irritated the last couple of days. I don't know why. I don't know if it's from one of the soaps or something, but I kind of had a, a little reaction or something. So kind of being a little cautious on that side. Um, but um, since I was using my water dish, uh, I can't really rinse off of that water. But if I would just been using a water bottle, then I would rinse off my face. Um, so that's it for my uh, nature-y shave. Um, looking forward to getting out on the water, swimming, getting on the boats. Um, but uh, yeah, so travel tech, or this isn't a travel tech, this is just a normal tech, but it's a great travel razor. Um, all you gotta do is get a little teeny container, like I said, a cheap Altoids container or something like that and uh, you're good to go. Um, I've been using that razor and that setup for my travels for quite a, uh, quite a long time, a few years actually. Um, so I think we got enough soap 
off with my towel. And go ahead and finish up with some witch hazel and aftershave. Put some witch hazel on right before I went to bed last night to kind of help with uh, some of the irritation that I was having and my face seemed to be a little bit more cleared up today. See, these, it's just a perfect container. It's got a little, little teeny orifice, so you don't waste a whole lot. Ugh, good scent, good scent. I love it. Nice and cool. Actually, it's a nice cool morning out here. It's probably in the 70s right now, uh, which is amazing. Um, I think the high down here is supposed to be 89 today. Um, so it's just gonna be really, really nice. Partly cloudy high of 89. Should be a perfect day for the lake. Okay, now we're done. Um, so again, let's see if I can focus in on the lake a little bit. Um, Maybe we'll give you guys another little tour of uh, the dock and some things later on. Um, but I'm going to clean up this stuff and uh, get to cooking some breakfast and get down on the lake. So uh, we'll see you guys later, Cadre.